Enterprise Web Applications in 5 minutes. Welcome to Ultralight Client. My name is Daniel Grob. I'm lead developer at Canoe Engineering. In this screencast, I'll describe how to build a web application just like this sample app on the website in just 5 minutes. I'll go through the steps involved and show you how easy it is to build a rich web application with a master detail view, sortable tables and data validation using the brand new application skeleton for Ultralight Client 2008. Ultra easy with Canoe technology. To start, go to canoe.com slash ULC. By the way, I'll go through this first part really quick. If required, there's a detailed installation guide on the website. You can get the free evaluation key at canoe.com slash ULC slash registration. After installing, this is what the install directory looks like. And here is the add-on folder. Listed within this folder is a buildsetup.xml, which I will access from the IDE to build my application. After downloading and installing the library, the first step is to run the generator to set up a new project. I'll open the Eclipse IDE. Open Run. External Tools and Open External Tools dialog. Type the configuration name and select Add-ons, Generators, Build Setup.xml in the ULC install directory. Click Run. A dialog displays and I'll enter the root directory, root package name, project name. Import the project into Eclipse using File, Import, Existing Projects into Workspace. This is the root directory I entered in the previous dialog. The Ultralight Client Project Generator creates two projects, one for the client part and one for the server part of my application. I need to import both. Now I see the project structure in the Package Explorer. Included in the generated projects is an application skeleton. The application skeleton provides a bean viewer to create, modify and display beans. This is one of the new features in Ultralight Client 2008 that makes development a lot easier and faster. I'll start the bean viewer using Run. Run History, Team Members. Since I haven't defined anything yet, I get this message. I'll use this bean viewer to build a simple master detail application. First thing to do is to define the bean that I want to install. On the server side, I create a new class in the domain package. I'll write a bean with a data structure like this. First name, last name, function, and further details I prepared beforehand. To complete this step, I generate the getters and setters. Now I'll run the generator tool to create artifacts for the team member's data structure. In the menu, go to Run, External Tools, Team Members Generate Bean Views. I can view the result with Run. Run History, Team Members, this is what I get. An overview screen with a list of team members and the corresponding data. Let me add a couple of entries. There are various things I can do. I can modify and delete entries, move the columns, sort entries, or search for an entry. And the only thing I had to do is to define the bean. All the rest has been done by Ultralight Client 2008. Wow! We really worked hard to make it this simple. But that's not all. In Resources, ULCA Applications Config.xml, I can modify the entry for the look and feel by simply changing the parameters. Let's see what it looks like. To 
add a company logo, go to team members application dot properties. This is the file where I can add or change image files, titles, texts or label fonts. Let's add the canoe logo like this and start the team member launcher to view the result. And here it is. Easy. This is a really big step in making the development much easier. The application's looking good, but I'd like to change the order of the imported columns, so let's do that next. Within Eclipse, I open membermasterview.java and exclude the columns that I don't need. I'll change the column order and I can run the application to see the effect on the interface. In the same way, I can modify the detail screen. I'll open memberform.java. I've already prepared some code. I'll split the form into separate tabs by changing the code here. I'll modify the field order. A slider for the workload field. And a text area for the remarks field. And as shown before, I can view the changes immediately. And finally, I'll add some validation code to memberadaptermodel.java. For example, let's check that the input for the first name field is not an integer. I prepared a code snippet. Again, I can easily check how it works. I'll type in some characters to test it. And a warning displays. Go to the Package Explorer, right-click Team Member Server and select Run As. Run on Server. Let's see what the application looks like in a web browser. And here it is. This is what the new release of Ultralight Client offers. A much simpler and faster way to develop web applications. Ultra easy. It offers a solid project basis for further efficient enterprise web applications. And that's it. I've built my first application from initial setup to validation in five minutes. Download and try out Ultralight Client at canoe.com slash ULC. Have fun and thanks for listening.